What's up guys, it's Remy from GSG Gaming Sense Gaming coming to you with something that I don't normally quite do. Nikki has tried it a few times, hasn't really panned out. I'm doing some multiplayer commentary on The Last of Us. Watch yourselves. Crew spotted some uniforms around here. Alright, so the game type is Supply Raid, and what that is, it's almost like a Team Deathmatch style of uh, game type where you have a reserve stock of 20 lives and once those are depleted you lose um, I like the other game type survivors better because that's one life per team member and that way my team members don't dick around and lose all the lives so we're playing like for instance we're playing this type of game uh, people enjoy dying apparently and so when I die like one time there's like no lives left uh, for me to respawn so I get one life everybody else gets like five lives which is ridiculous anyhow I do like this game I'm not really a Call of Duty guy just because I don't like to run a gun um, I don't like multiplayer Call of Duty at all um, I enjoy Halo I'm not really super good at it or anything like that I wouldn't post a commentary on that definitely oh, Nikki would do Let's that go. kind of thing um, he's really good at it, uh, but this is my type of game, the type of game where you kind of, you're not really camping, but you're just trying to be sneaky as hell and keep, kill people, and that's just something I, that's how I play almost all type of games like this, um, is I try to sneak around and kill people, and, uh, yeah. Nikki was in this match, and we picked up, uh, two randoms for this match as well, um, Nick does really well in this game. Unfortunately, it wasn't recording, so we couldn't split the Boom. screens or just go back and forth on the video capture. That one's dead. That's one. And I think I had Nick uh, talking about how he killed the, one of those guys or two of those guys when I got both those bastards in this match. Whatever. So this is kind of an intermission actually in my survivor uh, walkthrough for The Last of Us. And um, with that said, I want to bring up the single player DLC that is coming up. There's no release date yet for this, just a hint that there's going to be that. Uh, they haven't said whether or not uh, Joel and Ellie are going to be in this story. Just the, the story that was told in the single player game. That story was over. So they, there's no, they didn't close anything off as to Joel and Ellie returning. And honestly, um, I would love to see Joel return. And what are your thoughts? That's what I want to know. Do you want Joel to come back? Do you want to play as Joel? Do you want to play as Ellie? Um, my thoughts is that they should do something with uh, Joel and his brother Tommy um, when they were together and what broke them up. Uh, you hear a little bit about that issue in uh, chapter 7 which is not uploaded just yet on the channel. Um, you know, that that would be awesome just that a relationship uh, touching on that would be great. And um, with Tommy and the Fireflies. Um, Give me a sec. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. Now, in the beginning of chapter five, right after you and Ellie get through that gate and clear out the first bad guys, uh, you're heading up some stairs, and uh, Ellie's asking Joel how he knows about the ambush that took place at the very beginning of chapter five. Actually, the ending of chapter four into chapter five, um, and Joel says that he knows what it's like on both sides of the fence meaning he was aligned with the hunters at some point which I think that would be an awesome story to tell and I would love to play that more than anything that I'm going to talk about I would love to see something like that now my other thought on single player DLC would be in chapter 6 which, which I just wrapped up um, not too long ago a couple days ago uh, the walkthrough for survivor mode Ish, you see a bunch of artifacts that tell the story of Ish, and I think that would be something great to experience that in a single player DLC as well. Um, to play that, so that is something that is a potential DLC that they could do. So there's a there's so much story in this game that they could pull from and use as something that we could play. And 
I don't know, with, with PS4 coming out, I'm just wondering how much interest is going to hold on this game after PS4 PC. And I feel Wait like any DLC I'll fix you up. single player that's going to come into play, I feel like they're going to link this. in to the multiplayer Lord with this. Coward, get back uh, in with there. whatever maps are in the new single player DLC, I feel like they're going to use that as uh, maps for the multiplayer, which would be awesome. They fucking got and uh, me. that leads me to the multiplayer portion. I don't really have a bunch of ideas for that, but one that I've seen floating around the internet. Down one yeah. uniform! That Red one's wall. dead! Um, sorry about that. Um, one that I've seen floating Keep around breathing. the internet I got is this. the use of clickers in the multiplayer. On, coward, get back and in there. I think that would be a badass idea. I think it would make the game that much harder. The fact that you have to maneuver around these clickers or kill these clickers. You've got to save your ammo. You can't waste it on clickers when you've got bad guys out there, uh, the opposing team to kill. So I think that would be... That would be awesome. I mean, um... The opposite team um, attracts the clickers, and they all start going after them. And then you still go start going after them. That would just that'd be fun to sell, or it'd be fun to sell getting chased by clickers, I guess. And uh, hopefully surviving all that. But yeah, so that's my thoughts on the DLC coming out for The Last of Us so far. What do you think? What would you like to see um, more than anything? And what do you think has potential to be DLC? And changing the topic completely, I want to talk about what I've been up to. Obviously, I've been up to The Last of Us Survivor, uh, which uh, has been taking up most of the time that I have for gaming right now. Um, I do need to finish the Tomb Raider walkthrough. I understand I need to finish that. You know, there hasn't been a lot of attention towards that, so I've kind of taken my time with that. Last of Us is new. It's something that everybody is into right now. So that's why I'm working on it. I will finish the Tomb Raider, I promise. Um, yeah. Um, but also, aside from gaming, I've actually Jared! been trying to hint at IGN to bring me along, get me on their team, have me start making guides for IGN. I would love to do that as a full-time job. Um, Prima Games... It's probably three miles from my house. I've actually approached them, uh, I think twice now, went into their office. Um, they don't really take me too seriously, I don't think. Um, I don't have a schooling school background. Uh, so, you know, people kind of... They just think I'm some kid on YouTube that's not really serious about anything. And gaming is seriously my passion, and that's what I do. Um, so, yeah, I've been over at Prima Games. Uh, a couple times uh, in the past six months, I'd say. And I also started talking to somebody at Brady Games. And I'm trying to explain that digital gaming guides are the future. You know, I went into Walmart a couple weeks ago. I actually brought this up to uh, one of the guys at Brady. I went into Walmart a couple weeks ago. And there's a little cute section they have. It's a discount game guide section is where all down. the dead gaming guides go, go that weren't sold there's a bunch of them they're all like dead. marked down for like five bucks or whatever they're losing money on published guides and it's just ridiculous and with all the potential for digital not to mention Wait up. you saw me in the last of us collectibles you saw me correcting some of the videos that i made mistakes mistakes happen and it just shows how much you care by changing those mistakes. Bastards are on their last legs. That's just one of the things that I feel like they're making the mistake by not... You don't have to go full digital, make some publications, uh, some publisher books, but there needs to be a lot more digital. Not just some PDF guides here and there. Um, they need to make interactive guides. Kind of like the uh, IGN did with the Far Cry 3 uh, interactive map. Stuff like that needs to happen more and more and uh that's what All i want to do that Let's is go. where i'm headed that that is what i want my career to be so that's what i've been doing aside from actually gaming i've been trying to weasel my way into some kind of uh, game company and make a difference hell if i had the money i'd make my own damn uh, game guy company but unfortunately that's not the case
And it appears this gameplay is coming to an end. Yes, our team finishes with 16 lives in reserve. Um, Cover and of course, the other I team, one of the guys dropped. That's what happens when you get smashed. People get mad and leave. Nick was going ham. What can I say? That's what he does. Um, I love being on our team, obviously. Can't complain. Um, yeah. I believe Nick finishes with 11 downs and 7 executions, 1 death, and 1 revive, and myself. I end the game with zero deaths. That's how I roll. So if you enjoyed this gameplay commentary, leave a comment below, give us a like, and give us a little bit of love. I'm out.